I do wish I have a cup of tea right now that would be good for this video but I have a coke I don't I don't have a tea in this studio but um let's Hi, Salam Alaikum Takifir. So, um, I wasn't planning to do this video. This is impromptu punya thing. I wasn't uh, actually, no, I, I was planning to do a video on this subject, but not now. But a friend texted me. He was like, hey, have you heard about this? I was like, what? And he was like, what happened? And I told him everything I know. And, was, and <laughs> he told me, he's like, do a video about it. I was like, yeah, I'm planning to, but, huh. Maybe lah, maybe, maybe not. I still hesitate. I was like, and then he was like, "Do it, just do it." <laughs> and here I am doing the video about giveaway. Yeah, I want to talk about the giveaway. So what's happening right now is that whenever you open your Instagram, you check somebody else's or your friend's IG stories. One of them, I bet, hundred percent, one of them has to be about reposting giveaway punya post and i want to talk something about you know this giveaway thing because i did it last time i did a giveaway when i reached 1k followers and i did that with um with honesty with with transparency so okay basically how giveaway works is that no let's talk about why first why people do giveaway why the businesses do giveaways first thing is be either because they want to give back to their customers for you know, as a thank you to support their businesses because what that's that's why i did my giveaway last time i reached 1k i want to thank all those followers and i want to give them a chance to win something as a as a, as an appreciation so that's one of the reasons why people do give giveaway. Second reason is because they want to boost followers and it works. Really, it really, really works because it, I gained like 30% followers from 1K last time because of um, my giveaway. And um, yeah, it, it, really, it really did work and it's gonna work whenever wherever at least right now especially right now because uh, this strategy is trending in instagram especially for brunei uh, businesses they i see a lot of businesses doing iphone giveaways and um, i don't blame them actually I, it, it is a good initiative because who wouldn't want free iphone i want a free iphone like if i am gonna ask you do you want free iphone of course you want a free iphone but you need to do uh participate in my giveaway okay sure it's free right it's literally free to join a giveaway okay the third reason probably because you want to celebrate something but then again it goes back to you want to celebrate because one of your milestone has been achieved and you want to give back something to your customers or followers so it's it's the same thing but here's the thing about doing a giveaway those businesses have to be transparent about how they pick the giveaway and if they do that's fine like if um if they they set certain terms and condition for uh people to follow in order for them for their particip uh, participations to get validated that's fine because it's their rights to do that so we're not talking about giving away 250k like what BABD did for Durang Punya Aspirasi program so that's a different kind of giveaway that's like 250k I can buy like thousands of iPhones with that I can buy a house build my own new separate studio in a month <laughs> so that's a different one of course lah for, for that you have to have a proper standard of procedures for for people to follow and then how are they going to be shortlisted because we're not talking about like a thousand dollar item we're talking about hundreds of thousands value for that giveaway for that gift but we're, if we're talking about giving away an iphone should the participators be shortlisted personally i don't think so because it's an iphone right it's a free thing it's a free stuff, but it's an iPhone. It's not 250K, it's not 500K. So basically people are pissed. I, I'm not gonna name any companies. I'm not gonna name any names right now. That's not um, what I intend to do. 
But yeah, people are pissed because of some things that this company did, and I get them. I get I get the point of uh, consumers, and I get the point of um, of the that company as well because they have um, a lot of um, participators involved, and they want to shortlist that. But come on, it's an iPhone. Like we're talking about around 100k participators and you're just giving away one iPhone. You're not giving away 10 iPhones. Why would they be sh shortlisted? Right? It's it's not it's it's a good thing. It's an easy thing for them to do, but it's not fair for those uh, young young equal. I I didn't join for example because I don't know why I didn't join, but I did basically I didn't join. But people are unhappy with the way they did. And I get them. I get I get the point of the public as well. Like, out of how many? Uh, out of a hundred thousands, only ten are being shortlisted. Like, that's like point. That's like only point one percent of all of a to of the total participations. So of course that's it's, it's they, they feel unfair. They feel um, enraged and angry and stuff and pissed. And you see, there are a few reasons why people are doing giveaway. It's either they want to boost followers, number one, because it's the most effective way to boost your followers, but only followers, not customers. Okay, there's a fine line and obvious difference between followers and customers. Followers are just followers, but they, but doesn't mean that they are already your customers, but followers can be, can potentially be your customers, but customers are those who are who have bought stuffs from your company. And another thing that I would like to say is, um, especially for those businesses out there, I mean, I'm not an expert, okay? I'm not an expert on this matter, but in order for you to, what, once you have gained the followers, try to maintain a good relationship with them. It's easy because if it's not because of the customers, you wouldn't be there. You wouldn't be we, your business wouldn't be where you are right now. If it's not because of this, my supporters, I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do that. I would. So the point that I want to get straight here is that for those businesses who are doing currently who are doing giveaways, be transparent to your customers because if you screwed this one up, your businesses are going to flop for sure. People are going to talk because Brunei is small country. We have like four hundred plus. K um, population and com and competition is everywhere and people talk from one mouth to another ear to one mouth to another ear. So be transparent on how you choose your um, your winners and be fair. And this is the, one of the most important thing to give every single participant a fair chance to win your giveaway. Again, we're not talking about 500k um, money giveaway we're only talking about an iphone and you don't sure don't want to flop your business just because an giveaway or just because an iphone okay so that's my i'm not an expert but i did a, i did a giveaway last time so again be transparent to to your potential customers because followers if you're if you gain their trust they can become your customers. Once they once they have become your customers, then it's up to you to maintain the relationship between your business and your customers in order for them to go back to you because that's one of the most important key in businesses is for you, business out there, to, um, how do I say, is to maintain the relationship with your existing customer, okay? Why do I feel like I'm in a TED talk or something? I'm not an expert for this one, but I just want to talk about this <laughs> giveaway thing. So yeah, that's that's it. Um, I get why people are angry about it. I get why um, business are doing the giveaway. So I, and my message to to the to the public, especially to locals, are like once you join the giveaway, forget about it. Whether or not you win or lose, that's something that uh, that's another story lives for another day. But you know, but if the business is being unfair to how they choose their giveaways, of course people are gonna 
people are going to be angry about it. If, if, if it's not you going to be angry about it, other people are going to be angry about it. And they're going to post it somewhere. And that is going to ruin the reputation of that particular business. It's, it's a shame, actually. Should I do a giveaway? Yeah, I should do a giveaway, Nanti. Once I finish up all my studio and whatnot. Giveaway is fun. It's really fun. Right, thanks for watching this random video. Um, hit the like button if you enjoy the content of this video and subscribe if you enjoy the content on my channel as usual. Why am I keep looking at this? See you guys in the next one. <laughs> I really hope I get my points straight because I don't know what I'm what I was saying like two minutes ago. Bye.